great surprise and great benefit coming back to Puma Hospital for stem cells again is our daughters off drugs period. No drugs, no baclofen. What you see is what you get. Baby girl was born 16 weeks premature. The first surviving twin to undergo stem cells um, in 2009 because of her diagnosis. Uh, she was diagnosed of having secondary dystonia. Dystonic meaning uh, she had no control of her motor, so she was very robotic. And and every movement she did was a very big effort. So she becomes very like this, like a robot. And her legs were crisscross, which they call the scissors, yeah? And they were stuck. Last year, she had, uh, after treatment here in um, Pua Hospital and the reduction in um, baclofen, she had better trunk control and she was also able to converse with the teacher. She had no problem, uh, the speech improved and uh, towards the end of the year the teacher said to me, Michaela now, is um, they're able to understand and have a conversation with her. Uh, it's also improved her movements and her her speech, her feeding, her sleeping. She's in general, her tone is much better. She doesn't have this tight, uh, you know, tight muscle tone that she used to have. Basically, I advise families to educate themselves. You need to educate yourself on the strategy of stem cells, and basically, it's your own body healing itself. And like anything, you need to basically keep practicing. You gotta keep working on those muscles. And yes, we know it's not a cure. However, we rather have this with stem cells than have our daughter hooked up to a machine or hooked up to drugs for the rest of her life where she'll have a very poor quality of life. She wouldn't speak the way she does. She wouldn't do what she's doing right now. <clears throat> so, Yes, we've always taken a gamble from day one, but look at the results. And it doesn't stop there. We know with time she will, you know, she'll surprise all you guys one day. She surprises us every day. With stem cells, our daughter's free from, once again, medication, free from surgery, free from all the other bits and pieces we were, we were advised to carry out with our daughter. And not even that, it gives her independence. Uh, what we've noticed in this treatment, the second time around at Pua Hospital is, our daughter has control after her first spinal, uh, lifting, raising her head to watch the TV. She's more relaxed with her hands. She can bring her hands up, bring them down. She can lift her head up. She could, you know, straighten her legs. And also she has control with her pointing finger. You got her laptop for school, high school. She could slide now without, before she had no control. Now she can do that, yes. How do you find Puhua? Do you know, uh, amazing. Amazing. He's <laughs> the horse's mouth, the princess's mouth. While we've been at this hospital, I must say it's been very professional. The staff are very dedicated. They've accommodated all our needs. Thank you seems a very small word but it means a lot. Educate, understand, ask questions.